Hello everyone and welcome to this week's top 10 video. Now today I am going to go over my top 10 Paul McCartney ballads. This was suggested by Frank Joe Martin. So when I was kind of like compiling the list, I was wondering whether to include Beatles songs and like and um well again like the ranking. However, I decided against that when like I had about and um, and um, when I just chosen like a few of like my favourite favourite like his solo ballads and um, ball ballads like, I had about fifteen of them, so I had to cut like that down. So there's no chance that I was going to that I was going to like, include Beatles songs. This is going to be solo and wing songs as well. Um, so I will get on with the list. So at number ten, I will put Bluebird. This is from Band of the Run. Uh, number nine, um, Wanderlust from Tug of War. I think that's a beautiful ballad, really like underrated album track. Number eight, Calico Skies from Flaming Pie, a brilliant al al album. This song, what, one of my favourites from it, is just a um, really, really nice acoustic guitar piece. Um, number seven, um, this may surprise a few people, people as to why it is so low on my list, because it is considered a McCartney classic. It is my love. But the reason why it is so low, um, um, well, at number seven, is because I kind of feel that I've overheard this song a lot. It is on pretty much every single Greatest Hits al al album what he's put out. Um, but like, and I kind of have like, ho o overheard this song a little bit, but it's still good enough to feature on my list, and it's still a fantastic song. At uh, number six, I would put See Your Sunshine. Um, right now, yeah, like I know this was written but for for like that who shall not be named, but it is um yeah, but I still just like love love like the song. I love like the bridge bit especially, like it where it just goes in like a slightly different direction. It's just it's just like a really, really nice um and um, nice song. Number five, um like another recent one is Too Much Rain from Chaos and um, um, Chaos and Creation in the Backyard. Um gosh from 2005, that's ten years ago now. Um yeah, so too much rain. Yeah, oh, yeah, like um, that and um, that fantastic song. Um, number four, anyway, from that same album, the closer. I think is a fantastic closer, just a brilliant and um, um, and I'm quite like at his best doing like a really good, good solid piano ballad song. Love it. Number three, um, this is a vastly underrated track. This is for me, it's up there with the best of his Beatles material. And like it's one what not many people know. It is Some Days from Flaming Pie. Um, um, they're like, they're just another um, um, brilliant, brilliant song. I mean, um, just it's just it's just it's just like a, a absolutely amazing track. I mean, like I'm, I mean, and like it should get much more recognition than it does. Um, number two, I would put um, No More Lonely Nights. Um, um, probably for me is. Um, for me, his best song from the entire 1980s is just um, just a fantastic song. Like, um, um, uh, well, unfortunately, ended up on the not so good "Give My Give My Regards to Broad Street," but um, but it's still it's still a fantastic song. Um, and at number one, um, this this maybe won't surprise many people. I think it is McCoy's all-time greatest song. It is maybe I'm amazed. Um, this song is just perfect. It is. It is. Um, and like, it's one of those songs I could just say is perfect. I mean, there's nothing, nothing bad about it at all. Like, I, I'm like, like, I'm like, especially I love the studio version on this on this album here, McCartney. I just love like the rawness of like the version I could hear compared to like the live version, say, which is still great. But like, this is probably like the ultimate version of Maybe I'm Amazed. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below. Um, below like if like you disagree with like my list and that because I've probably forgotten like a few obvious choices and like I hope to see you next time then goodbye